Hi, in this video, we're going to deal with two types of carbon in gas chromography. First, a packed carbon and a capillary carbon. When you size a packed carbon, you can see the structures. So, it is a fully packed stationary phase. It means the liquid phase is absorbed onto the surface of the bees in a thin layer or onto the solid inert packing. The size of a capillary column looks different. Liquid stationary phase is immobilized onto capillary tubing walls, so it is not fixed as a packed column. So you can find a thin film of liquid phase coating inner surface. The big difference of these two types of column is where we can apply. A packed column is applicable mostly for G at C gas solid chromography. It means it has a limited application in the laboratory's environment because of severe peak tailing. For example, when you say we have a polar analyte substances, when you inject this analyte into a packed column, it will take very long time and it causes, this long time causes a severe peak tailing. In contrast, a capillary column is applicable only for GLC, gas liquid chromography. It means this capillary column type is mostly used in laboratories. A capillary column has a differentiation in four different sorts of open tubular types as follows. So when you have interest, you can search them in Google, but in this video, we're going to pass. Packed and capillary columns have different diameters. Packed column has a bigger diameter compared to capillary column. Capillary column is much longer than a packed column. So maximum 100 meter. When you see the structure of a packed column, it is fully packed of stationary phase. And we can easily imagine that this column has a high pressure. It means it has a high flow rate as well. Kepler columns on the other end have low pressure and low flow rate. Thank you for watching.